Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here with Eva Ryle, of course. Good morning. Good morning. And we are outside of the Connecticut mm -hmm. Science Center on the plaza to promote an event coming up next week that we'll tell you about in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we're outside, so we're going to do some kind of messy science. Yes. Okay. Um, we're going to do a little chemical reaction. <laughs> it does need to happen in a well-ventilated area, so I thought... What a well-ventilated area. This is perfect. <laughs> um, we're actually going to make a polyurethane foam. Um, so this foam is found in life preservers um, and insulation. So um, pretty typically all around you. Okay. Um, so I have these two containers here. They both have a liquid in them. And so all I'm going to do is... Do we, do we get to know what the liquids are? Uh, so it's actually a kind of a combination of different things, different polymers. Okay. And so they're going to actually cross-link a little bit um, and react. I'm gonna pour those in, give it a little stir. So we're seeing a, a change in color. Yeah, and then we give it a second. So right now, um, those two liquids are coming in contact with each other. I need another little stir. So chemical reaction is, is getting go. underway and there it is taking off. And we are gonna get a foam that is 30 times the original volume of those two liquids. Are we going to try to catch keep this? It on the <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't actually super harmful if you touch it with your hands, but some people do have an allergic reaction before it hardens. So that's why um, we have the trash bag and these sticks. But so if you look at that, that's still going in again, about 30 times the original volume of those liquids. So in, a, in time, mm -hmm. it is like you can already see it's kind of like yeah. it's tacky. It's already starting to solidify yes. and that will continue. It will become hard. Yes. Right. And so that's how, uh, because it hardens, that's how it can be used as like a flotation device or an insulation. Um, all those bubbles there were formed by carbon dioxide that happened during the reaction. Um, this also, if we were to touch it right now, is really warm. It was an exothermic reaction. So yeah, there we go. Starting to harden up there. There we go. <laughs> and because of all the air that's trapped, it makes it buoyant. Yes. So exactly. for like a life preserver, like you were speaking of earlier. Yeah. So kind of cool. It's still the same amount of mass. Uh, you know, there's, we didn't create any matter, but it's taking up an entirely different volume right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Isn't that cool? I mean, it, it, you can even, <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's no, it's not, not going to drip off anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're safe. <laughs> oh. All right. So, um, that's awesome. I know. I was going to say, I love, <laughs> happy Sunday morning. <laughs> um, but again, back to why we're out here mm -hmm. for a great experiment like this, but also behind us this Thursday, a really neat event's gonna be happening. Yeah, we're actually gonna do an event for the first time ever. It is Pups and Pints on the Plaza. So there'll be a bunch of uh, craft brewers and vendors, um, and it is dog friendly. So you can bring your dog and experience our plaza with them. So while the Science Center is typically geared for the younger mm -hmm. age groups, this is specifically 21 and up. Yes, yes, there will be beer, <laughs> so 21 and over. And it's, it's a nominal $5. Yes. And so if you live in Hartford, live nearby, bring your pet, bring your, your dog, bring your pup and have a pint on the plaza. Yeah, we'll have some live science too, vendors, so it should be a good time. Excellent. All right, Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend. <laughs>